Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, CCL Season 48 Playoffs Quarterfinals Preview with the champ himself, Dimmy G. Hello. Hello Jimmy. <laughs> and we are getting to the business end of the season. We certainly are. They're, they're, all the Amazons are out. <laughs> they will definitely not win Chalice. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all the second rate teams are out. We've only got the uh, the big boys left. We have, so let's have a look. We've got we've got Skaven Blight Skitteru, which is Ploppin, um, with Skaven versus the Borers, which is Star Ferret with Dwarves. So there you it's going to be an interesting one, that one, actually, to be fair. It is, yeah. Yeah, we've got 1680, 1680 rats, two movement 10 natties, both got sprint, one's got sure feet, guard. No claw, which is really bad versus dwarves, isn't it? Match five, big hand. A sacker. Yeah, I can't believe we went big hand instead of two heads. But <laughs> yep, yep, yep. But, he's got but yeah, he's got 13 players. And two natties as well. He's only... Right, and he's got the, the strip baller, Rackle. He could even go to 14 players as well, couldn't he? And... I guess he Yeah, I don't I don't think the dwarfs are massive though. No, they're not. But yeah, he could just hang in, he could just hang in, right, and then one turn. He can literally win with like no skill whatsoever. He he literally needs to uh not play Blood Bowl for as many turns as possible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh <laughs> yeah, pray Because, I mean like realistically he could um lose his drive one nil, one turn and then just not concede on the second drive, win the toss on one turn again, or something something similar to that, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's easily doable. He's got so much so much chances with it, it's crazy. Um four hello Goliath. And then this one looks a better Blood Bowl team, doesn't it? Five mighty blow. Um only a couple of stand firm, loads of guard. Pommer. It's not a bad dwarf team, yeah. Yeah. So 19 4 1, what a record. So, yeah, great record, but again, it's just rats. Like, you wouldn't imagine the rats are going to do much on defense against them, especially as they won't get a wizard. Um, I wouldn't even try, mate. I wouldn't even try. No. Just run away. Like, the problem is, is if they get caught, like, running away and stuff. Like, yeah, so I think, I think you're right. Unfortunately, it's going to be a pretty kind of a rubbish game in a way, and yeah, the. The Skaven don't want to play it. <laughs> the old the, the double dacker maybe or whatever, or just one turn and pray. I think it might be. I mean, I've seen Ploppen play a couple of times now, and um, like the game against the Vamps, like he just hung the the the, uh, the cutters back. He even had one on the bench as well, and just was like, nope, not playing this game. Just gonna one turn in a blizzard. Yep. yep. Um. And it worked. <laughs> it did. Yeah. So, uh, Top play. <laughs> Top strategy. <laughs> 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 Can't argue with that. And then we've got pick up and dodge with Krippy with Chorfs versus some of us are small, which is talk 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 with Chorfs. So there you go. We've got a a wonderful mirror. a wonderful uh, Chorf mirror there for you. What do you, what do you think? Uh, about I think it. Mirrors? I think it depends on what time they schedule the game. Honestly, Jim. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I wonder if they'll. Call, I wonder if they'll if they'll schedule a match where, when Caution has a has a migraine. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, like if it's an early morning one, then uh, it, it could well be in Krupy's favour. Yeah. Twelve, twelve players, ridiculous. I mean, that's a hell of a hobble, isn't it? Move, strength. Oh damage. man, yeah. I mean, the only thing he's missing is dodge, and even even that doesn't really matter when you're edge five. So it's like, yeah. just don't roll ones. Like the second bull isn't as good, but the first one's like you know pretty good. Like this, like yeah. If you compare compare this uh, chore team to the the next, it's it's like I know which which side I'd rather have. Mm -hmm. Three claw couple of niggles, couple of niggles on the pommers makes it interesting though. A bit more TV, aren't they? Twenty seven eight three, good record. But yeah, only one claw pommer, same guy. Yeah, one rookie ball. Yeah, oh my god. And his best bull is worse than Krupy's worst bull. And his yeah. stat-free cobble is worse than the other stat-free cobble. 
<laughs> so he's just worse in every single way, isn't he? Yeah, it's, it doesn't look good for uh, Talk Talk Talk. No. But like I say, the, the two Ningles and the Claw Bombers, and if, uh, he, if a miracle happens and he gets to hit one, like, um, mm. you never know. Yeah, and it's a dice game, isn't he? He's got a dirty player there, you know? Like, if, if the dice fall in his favour, he'll definitely have a chance, but um, I'll definitely be picking Krippy to win that one. For sure. Yeah, I'm no blood bowl expert, but I would <laughs> I would also agree with that. <laughs> well no, this is an interesting one. Diamed and his Necromantic versus Mad Jake and his Pro Elves. So oh God, I can't type. Sorry, Space Station thirteen. He's got decent record. It's a he's got a tackle pomming wolf. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, I love oh, that man. <laughs> yeah. And he will pop on, pop on, pop on, pop on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I honestly, I honestly think, depending on the damage caused in this game, I think the winner of Chalice comes out of this this draw. Yeah, maybe. I do, I think if, if Diamed wins it, I think he's going to go on to win the whole lot. I also think if Mad Jake wins it, he'll go on to win the whole lot, depending like heavily on damage taken through the game yeah there's a uh, chance that, yeah especially for Mad Jake he could win and get his team destroyed couldn't he yeah this is the thing right Like, but Mad Jake's got like he's got like 13 14 players mm. um, and uh, it's a really nice team he's, he's got like the, the the movement 10 not quite a netty yeah. um, doesn't have sprint like a wood elf catcher does he <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not like a wood elf catch him. <laughs> You've been doing your homework. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's kind of bare bones, right? Apart from that, he's got he's got some things. He's got only got yeah. one guard. He's got a strength four. He's got like the mighty blood jugs, but like it's about. It's I think he's solid, mate. Sword. I think Magic's solid. Like he's always performing pretty well. Yeah. I mean, like Diamond is gonna. Diamond's gonna come to bang, like honestly, like he's he's gonna come to bang, and if he bangs, then I I, I can't see anyone winning this but Diamond. But if he doesn't bang, then like I can definitely see my Jake winning this. Yeah, for sure, it will be it will be very interesting. Great record. This game, I'm really I'm really hyped to see this one between my Jake and uh, uh, Diamond's. Yeah, that's the that's the pick of the matches for me. Um, well, yeah, but then the next one is also pretty sick as well. Yeah. Quite, yeah, like uh, the the bottom half of the bracket for me is where it's at. Yeah. Um, like obviously, like who doesn't want to see Chaos kill each other? And that that should, that should be all right. The the Skaven Dwarves like, is the yeah, weirdest like one the on paper. It, it could just be <laughs> like yeah. one team playing Blood Bowl for 16 turns, the other playing it for two turns and winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, Nolly's yeah. team's so weird, isn't it? Um, it's just beaten up as hell. Nice like level. he's yeah, but then look at like who he's knocked out. He's knocked out. Uh, was it um, Andre? Uh, he knocked out someone pretty good last round as well. Mm. Uh, let me get the exact run that he's had. So, uh, so yeah, so basically he's come through uh, Guest, which I'm not too sure, Andre, and then he's beat the Amazons as well. Yeah. Um, but the, his team has also been this beaten up like throughout the competition. Um, so he's he's not like he's been beaten up in Chalice. <laughs> he was already like mashed up and yeah. chewed up and spat out when he arrived. And uh, yeah, the most notable um, uh, result was the three 0 versus Andre. Yeah, that was unbelievable. Yeah, perfect game. And like, he's got an edgy five. He's got a really nice witch. He's got a couple of guard. Like, he can he can do things. Yeah, lots of blood, loads of blood stuff. But he'll be up against bloody um the worst the worst kind of team that there is flipping Norse. Great team name though, isn't it? Ragnarok and a hard player, so quite like that. Twenty two four, great record. And it's actually a really good looking Norse team isn't it, I think. I mean like how does it get better? I don't really know. Like Um Mighty Blow on the off, maybe. And that's about it. Yeah. Like, you probably don't want two Berserkers, he's got two sidestep runners, one with sure hands, one with guard. And he has got a 
the strength four leader is a bit of a weird one, but like you're gonna take leader first anyway, aren't you? And then you can't really turn down the strength four. Yeah. Yeah. So and uh, a couple of DPS. Yeah. Tackle. Fud knocked out Trific as well, which is like legendary. Yeah. And uh. Uh, it's gonna be yeah, and the, the elves are obviously gonna be capped on eleven, regardless of what happens. Um, yeah, so this is. I think it's looking quite good for large third actually. So I pick a large third to win to win that one. Yeah, so my my picks and maybe it's your picks too. Well, let's let's find out. So this one I pick Star Ferret with his dwarves. I will go Skaven on that one just to be interesting. Boy, howdy. And then here, I think we're definitely going to pick the same one here. Krippy with the Chorfs. Yeah, 100%. Bash Mirrors, where one team's better than the other. Yeah. Rarely go. Barring insane kickoff events and dice and stuff like yes. If Krippy plays that averagely, it should get through that. Yeah, it's going to be really tough. And this one's an interesting one, I think. I think I'm gonna bet. I don't think I'm gonna back uh, Mad Jake. Oh, see, I I reckon whoever wins that is gonna win the whole lot. Honestly, I I, I genuinely believe that. But it depends if Mad if Mad Jake wins it and gets smashed by the Necro, then that might change things because he could well potentially be facing the Norse next, yeah. <laughs> which, will, which will also smash him to pieces. Yeah. I think the Necro smash the Norse and the Delves if they do smash the Pearls, so... Um, and I think he's got a slightly better matchup against the Chorse as well. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, I, 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 I like... Uh, like, when I said Skaven, I went against what I said <laughs> on <laughs> any other thing, so I, I probably genuinely believe it is the Dwarves. <laughs> Um, I do believe it's the choice. I, I went Mad Jake. I reckon Mad Jake's going to win the whole lot. So mm. I went with Mad Jake. If he can, if like Mad Jake has got his final this round for me. Like this is the one. Like if he gets through this, and his team is healthy, like this is his chalice. Like, I think maybe. Well, you say that, but I think a large thud is going to is going to beat Nelissius, um in the last one. Yeah. And I think I think he'd be maybe favoured. Maybe favoured versus Mad Jake in the semi as well. So I'm not. I'm not so sure on the Dark Elves versus the the Norse. Like I, I think on paper, I think on, like mate, Nolly's pretty good at Blood Bowl. Um, I think Fud is really good at Blood Bowl as well. I'm really looking forward to that. Like that. Like if you're gonna watch one of the games, I would definitely go with Nolly and uh, Fud. Like to watch. I just hope it's a proper game and not like a uh, like a weird like decided game before any dice are rolled. Yes, um, yeah. But yeah, I, I definitely think like I, like I, I basically said Kruppi, uh Diomedes, and Mad J. I think they are the three potential winners of the whole lot. Yeah. And they're my three like picks. And then if I was forced to pick one. I did say I did say Mad Jake, but then like I do I do kind of think the Necro as well. Yeah. Like, um, but I mean the dwarfs could upset it all. Like to be fair, like problem is is if the dwarf beats Gaven, they're probably going to get smashed by uh, Kruppi if Kruppi wins it, like, which we, we're probably expecting. Yeah. So the dwarfs probably get smashed by Kruppi. It's just a terrible matchup for the dwarfs, isn't it? And then. Yeah. Uh. And then, like, yeah, I hope, like, I don't know, like, I, I still think Kruppi's, like, you can't oh, never shit. write off Torfs, right? Torfs are always looking pretty good, but... Yeah, what's well, like, that's the thing, yeah, the, thank you very much, Jakaela, for the raid. That's the thing, uh, the Dwarves, if they win, they're guaranteed to play Chorfs, right? Because it's a Chorf mirror, so yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's horrendous for them. And the Skaven, the Skaven could just get through the Dwarves and the Chorfs, just, and the final, just... Well, I mean, it, it basically, if, uh... If somehow Talk 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 pulls off an upset against Kruppi and has the most smashed up <laughs> uh, uh, like Chorf team in Chalice history and then faces the Dwarfs, then like, yeah, by all means, I think Ferret can do it. But <laughs> like, uh, like, I just can't see, I can't see Kruppi not winning that. And uh, 
and then it's just going to be horrendous for the doors. Yeah, I think I think Krupy's my favourite to win it overall, um, and your favourite's Mad Jake, isn't it? So that's that's pretty cool. It'll be very interesting. So those games will be starting. We'll be starting tomorrow, in fact, um, at midday. There is there is a match on. Um, I, I think I read two are on Monday at like six o'clock. UTC, I think. Yeah, yeah. Fr fr so yeah, there's what there's there's Diamond versus Mad Jake is on Friday. Um, which I is can't wait. What time is that? Twelve hundred UTC. To one o'clock in the afternoon. Is that yeah. tomorrow? That's yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, isn't yeah, it? That's tomorrow. Ooh. Yeah. I'll yeah. be watching that. Are you streaming that? Because uh, yeah, it might be. Yeah. If I'm awake. Uh, no one else will be streaming it, will they? Because it's <laughs> no streamers. Yeah. Right, well, there you go. So that, that, that's pretty cool, isn't it? My favourite's Carlton Palmer. Bloody hell, HTK. Right, well, there yeah, you go. Yeah, massive ears. He did, yeah. Right, that's that, That's it anyway for the uh, for the preview. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do all the games. We'll probably do them all live right now that there's only... Now that there's only quarterfinals, I'll probably probably do the quarterfinals live if if I if I'm if I'm around to do them, and uh, the semis and the finals. If, final he's, if he's not up live. all night playing Minecraft. Yeah, I might be. I might be up all night playing Minecraft. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Dimmy, for the for the callcast. Absolutely glorious. What a legend. No problem, Jim. No worries. Cheers. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.